Hi, I'm Miriam from BBC Good Food and I'm going to show you how to make flapjack. It's a really simple recipe, so all I need is some light brown sugar, so I've got 100 grams here and that goes in my pan. To that I'm going to add 200 grams of butter and then three tablespoons of golden syrup. Heat that really gently until it's all melted together and it's really syrupy and lovely. So that's all melted, it's really syrupy and delicious. I'm just going to add it to 300 grams of oats. These are just normal porridge oats, but you could use a mixture of jumbo oats as well if you like. Once it's all in there, just give it a big mix, so all the oats are really coated in the syrup. If you want to, now would be a really good time to add some dried fruit or some chopped up chocolate or some nuts, whatever you like to flavour it. Now I'm just going to tip it into the tin. I've just greased this and lined it with some baking parchment. Press it into all the corners with the back of your spoon. Make sure it's nice and flat. That's ready to bake now, so I'm going to put it in the oven about 150 degrees, 130 fan for around 40 to 45 minutes. That's had about 40, 45 minutes now and it's lovely and golden. Just leave it in the tin for a few minutes until it's cooler and then mark it into some chunks and then chop it up. You can then dip it in some chocolate or just drizzle some over if you like. So the basic formula for flapjacks is oats, butter and sugar as we've seen, but there's no reason why you can't vary those ingredients a little bit. So to begin with I'm going to put some peanut butter in my pan and then a little bit of butter as well. And instead of sugar, I'm adding maple syrup and I'm also going to add some fruits. Set these melting on a low heat as before, and that gives me time to get the fruit ready. While that's melting gently, I'm just going to prepare the apple. I'm going to peel it and then coarsely grate it. That's my apple grated. I'm going to mash some banana as well, and they're both going to add extra sweetness. As soon as that's mashed, just pop it in with the peanut butter and butter mix. And add your grated apple as well. Then add 100 mils of hot water and give it a good stir. For extra flavour to these flapjacks, I've got some seeds, just mixed seeds, and they're all going in with the oats. Some chopped dried apricots and some raisins. And then as we did before, add the wet ingredients to the oat mixture. Pop it into your prepared tin. And then just press it right down into all the corners. This is a slightly wetter mix, so I'm going to cook it at 160 or 140 fan for about 50 55 minutes. So that's ready and it's all golden brown. Just leave it in the tin for a few minutes to cool before you chop it up into pieces. Flapjack's a really versatile recipe, so you can add fruits or anything you like. Flavourings like cinnamon work really well, or you can add like a, a really nice frosting on top, like a really lovely ginger buttercream. So there you go, it's a few recipes of how to make flapjack from BBC Good Food.